and welcome back, Swindle Enthusiasts, to another fine outing into the world of thievery. I am still Negaroth, here to hopefully guide Mr. Beresford through another series of exciting misadventures and hopefully a, a little bit of cash in our pocket. Because last time, we were still being inexplicably successful. Uh, and I hope that we can continue on with that because money. Um, so there was another update that came out for the game, though it's not really going to affect us too much. All it did was lower the cost of a couple things, like it made level 2 hack and the first level of bombs 3,000 instead of 5,000. So. I don't know, if we, if we do have to start over again, which cross your fingers, we shouldn't have to. It, it might be a little bit easier, who knows. So, uh, the recommendations from the thread uh, are, are stuff we can probably get for right now. Uh, first thing they said, definitely going to need the third level of hacking. So we might as well get that. They also mentioned that we should probably get the upgrade to see where the security stations are reasonably priced and well they didn't really have any other recommendations and we still have 49,000 so well, we could get that Malay upgrade which would be pretty helpful we also could get two additional jumps, or one additional jump at this point. Hmm. We could also max out our hack speed. We could get more money out of hackery. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind the upgrade to the bug count, and we are just a little bit shy of that. Still am very curious about this local EMP. It sounds like it could be pretty useful. We're not running short on bombs just yet. So... Hmm. You know what? The increased melee is going to be useful. So... Let's go with that. And alright, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed because hopefully we can make more money and maybe get on to that third area. Because I'm a bit worried, to say the least. I, uh, not, not used to getting this far. Also, yeah, you can see the goggle upgrade already on our screen there. It shows us where the hacking station is. It's 100 meters this way. We'll just have to head over there, making sure to be careful. Because hopefully with our Malay upgrade, yeah, we can take care of things a little bit easier. Yeah. So the hug robots now go down in just a single hit. The Explosive fiery dick holes go down in two hits still Not that bad and also I totally forgot, but we are still getting money, so Let's go ahead and put down another bug Oops Sorry, I haven't played in a couple days, so it's mostly just trying to remember what does what Hopefully that doesn't cause me to get blown up in the face So yeah, I've uh, been contemplating my luck, and being being the curious guy that I am, I've decided to look up some other people's videos, see how how they manage to get get along. And honestly, uh, they don't get along so well. Most most people that I've seen, um, by the point that we're at right now, they are at about day 50. So, I am doing something 
massively right, or I'm just freakishly lucky. You can... you can take it how you will. Personally, I just think it's... it's the overall positivity, you know? I think positivity makes everything go better. Also, you know, I'm just... I'm just that... Okay, I'm lucky. That thing just committed seppuku, which totally worked out for me. And so far, none of the none of the new enemies have been too terrible to deal with. So, hmm, I'm gonna start to have to head downwards because that's where the hacking station is, or where the uh, security station is. Pretty sure, though, I can hack this without setting off the alarm with the increased hack speed that we have. Very good. And so the bugs still working out very wonderfully for us. Even though one of them has run out of money temporarily, because we already robbed that shit. Yeah, we are probably gonna have to deal with at least one of those spotlights. Hmm. Good news is that I think we can take out might be able to take that out with our remote like that very subtle as always just wondering if that other spotlight reaches the door I don't think it does we should be somewhat safe getting this money this massive pound of cash that's just burning a hole in our pockets. And that's... very bad. Oh, okay. That's good enough. Alright, so... It's strange I didn't see those guys patrolling back before. But... Good news. Multiple good news. Haven't been doing so well on the achievement front, but we just have unlocked a very difficult achievement. We have got 10 successful heists in a row. And what means we got a lucky streak? Not only that, look at that money! Ah! That's my excitement sound. You don't want to be around that, you know, in person. But, uh, so yeah, we. 113,000. First off, that means you can go to the next area, but uh, still not. Still not for sure I want to do that just yet. So, you know, the police interference could be good. This could also be pretty useful if we get caught because it'll make it so that we are camouflaged while we are making our escape. Also, I was looking it up. Scrapyard um, might be pretty useful. You can get uh, I uh, anywhere between like two to four hundred pounds per kill. Whenever you kill a robot, uh, it seems to be just killing anything. So that could be reasonably good. Though I don't relish getting into combat. So, I totally meant to get this because, well, had a little bit more practice with it, and we are probably going to need the rest of this. Especially being able to climb up windows might be pretty useful. And. Yeah, stealth might be useful in case we run into more enemies that uh, deal in the auditory sense. Also, most importantly of all. Uh, I get a strong feeling that this teleporter ability, because it is so freakishly expensive, is going to be very, very useful. But, you know, it looks like we can get that bug count upgrade, which might... That's just more money in the hip pocket, you know. Uh, but more importantly... Hmm... We can max out our hack skill which means that we can reactivate down drones and they will fight for us. 
that could be very, very useful. Hmm. Do we want to? Do we want to do that? I get a feeling we want to do that, so... Spending quite a bit. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta spend money to make money. You gotta break a few eggs to steal from a few banks. Mm. Could be useful. Just a bit, bit expensive for right now. So, I'm still, I'm not for certain if I want to go to the next area on this particular video. I mean, it, it could, it could be good to see what the, uh, the next area has in store for us. But it also, we, we might just not be ready for it yet. So it's, it's a bit of a toss up for me. Also, I was informed by the thread that, uh, the, the increased melee damage that we do now actually makes it so that we break through windows quicker. So, I'm pretty happy about that. And... You know, I could... I got, a, I got another idea. I do, I do want to blow up that mine. But, I feel like we could go towards that from a different direction. Possibly not a safer direction, but... Ooh, we're getting a little bit close to that spotlight there. But yeah, since we, we now have that, uh, that wall jumping upgrade, we can just latch onto walls, hang for as long as we want. It's pretty cool. I was mostly just wary of getting it because I've had it backfire a couple of times in the past, which is it's never pleasant. Because you think you're being, uh, you're being a smart, smart guy, but you just end up, uh, end up messing up a little bit. definitely think we want to get rid of this. I am a bit sad that this bomb will not be able to blow up that little explodey man there, but that's okay. All that matters is getting to the money and also surviving. Surviving is pretty important. I do worry because there is a metric shit ton of things down there. I'm worried that this guy is just going to fly right through the door and smack me in the face and be a nuisance. Thankfully he wasn't. I'm very, I'm very happy when enemies are uh, supportive of my endeavors not to die. And... Oh! Look what... I, I was trying to hack the door, but apparently I... I hacked the robot there. Blow them up! Yes! Mayhem! Yeah! <laughs> oh god, that's lovely! Oh man, I wasn't even paying attention, but that worked out. Though I, I can see that probably being a problem in the future. Just because it, l I don't know if those things have friendly fire, so probably, probably need to be a smidge more careful with what I'm hacking. But uh, we're li we're living on the edge. This is an Aerosmith song waiting to happen. And y'all remember that hit Aerosmith song? Living on the edge. It's from their uh, '90s period where. I think Alicia Silverstone was highly featured. And who doesn't enjoy Alicia Silverstone? She was, uh, she was a great actress. Um, Clueless, that one movie where she seduced uh, Carrie Ewells. I can't remember what it was called. It wasn't Poison Ivy. That was the other sexy teen seduces older gentleman and murders his wife type of movie. I think that one had Alyssa Milano. Who uh, was very good in a little show called Charmed. And Charmed is, you know, it's my favorite show. 
It's probably the best show that Shannon Doherty's ever been in. Which is not saying a lot. But, you know. Props to her. I thought I finished hacking that. I guess I didn't. But hooray! So, alright, so now, uh, I guess I should explain. When we have a hacked drone, you'll see text above it that says how many bullets it has. In this case, that one has uh, a whopping 10. And. No, it's something else I'm worried about. I'm wondering if that thing will set off the mine or not. Yes! <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's great. Um. Well, I'm just kind of wondering if I'm going to set that off with my face or not. I feel like I can hack it. Don't get close. Don't set it off. Good. Good, good, good. Yes, I... I'm very worried that that thing is going to be a, a nice friendly hindrance to me and just run into a mine and trying to hack it. Just ruin my day. See that that's the that's the benefit of learning. Sometimes you learn the hard way. Like these guys, they're learning the hard way that I have harnessed the power of guns. Did that thing still shoot? I don't know. It worked out. It at least it at least killed the big guy, so. And this uh smaller man is not not an issue. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, these, uh, these upgrades are actually got really nicely. I get a feeling, though, I don't really want to hack another one of those explodey guys. It's just... Ah, it's, uh, it's too much stress. I mean, it's helpful, but it's also... You just never know when the thing's going to blow up in your face. Let's see. I got. Oh, I got a computer. I got this guy. What? Oh my god. Oh, Mr. Beresford, how did you die there? How? I. I'm just at a loss. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Beresford, you. You lasted 13 days. You made us an unspeakably large amount of money, and then you... I don't even... I don't even know how you died. I... I'm just... I am honestly perplexed. Man. He had a, a much better run than I expected. But... You know, life goes on. We will be successful again. As long as we're a little, a little bit more careful there. I mean, we didn't. Oh, well, we did. Uh, we did lose a tremendous amount of money, and you know, we did lose our experience bonus, which is a bit of a bummer. But I mean, over overall. We we are still pretty much rolling in cash to an extreme extreme amount. And really, I mean, we still have plenty of days left. And I'm I'm trying to be as positive as possible, but that, that did that bummed me out considerably. So don't mind me if I'm just Trying not to to well up with a rage that's unspeakable. Hopefully, though, we can oh, we can finally get to one of these goddamn computers and use that sweet upgrade that we paid for. Because I really would like to get rid of some of these cameras. You do want to be especially careful, though, because there is one drawback to these uh, hacking the security consoles. If you mess up. 
everything gets set off. And yeah, you'll just pretty much, you'll be screwed. But that's okay. I think we've had plenty of practice for all these things. Also, since we hacked the console there, that means we can now safely get into that computer without setting off the alarm. That just means more money. Wait, let's go ahead and hack it. And I don't think I want to blow it up just because I'm not certain that uh, it still won't set off the alarm. There we go. Now, let's see if we can't find any more easy money in here. Easy money is the best money. Especially in our case. Boop. Uh, oh, he still leaves behind that poisonous steam. Still, while we wait for his steam to dissipate, we can see that that nearby spotlight is now just impotently waggling in the wind. So, nice not to have to worry about that nonsense. And, hmm, I would bring that drone with us, but I think we should be good. I'm actually not sure how much money is left to get in here. There is a computer there. Can we get to it from the outside? I'm trying to remember. Ah, that's why I didn't go in there before. There were a bunch of cameras blocking my way, but guess what isn't blocking my way now? Cameras. And I think we should be able to load it up. Safe and sound. And anything else down here? There's a few things, but might be kind of dangerous. Anything. There is money. I think we want to get that money. Because we might. I think we might be able to get the ghost bonus. Because I think we've gotten pretty much everything. I am a bit... Ah, uh, looks like one of our bugs also got found. That's a bit shit. That it's mm, it's mostly fine. I am. Uh, I don't think the well. Actually, in retrospect, those spotlight drones will do something. They do their little electric attack. Actually, check that out. Maybe it'll be useful. Has two charges left. Yes. Do your business on them. Oh. You're not gonna explode, are you? Alright, I was a bit worried. He was making a I'm going to explode noise, and I was getting a bit concerned. I think though it will say that it, you know, I'm going to explode if it if it's going to explode. Also, this was a lot of effort for just a little bit, but really, if we can get that, if we can get that ghost bonus, it will, I think, pay off in dividends. Dividends. That's fancy talk for money. So if you go to an account and he says, dividends, say yes. Because it's probably a good thing for you. Just to make this guy a little bit less of a nuisance. Or the weakest link. Reference. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I should be more mournful of the loss of Mr. Beresford, but he was a constant source of money. And he did 
what no man could do, which is pleasure me. Yawn compare. Man, that's that's really what you want from a man. Pleasure. But yeah, uh, cross your fingers. I'm I'm crossing mine figuratively right now. Otherwise, I wouldn't really be able to play. But hopefully, we get that ghost bonus. Yes. So even even with our experience loss, Eliza Grumblebot. Such a sexy name. Eliza Grumblebot has done the impossible and continued to be amazing. So I'm thinking, which is a, an amazing feat, trust me, that um, well, we, uh, we do have quite a bit of money to the point where we can go to the next area. And I'm thinking at least one run in the new area might be fun or disastrous and man I could also get another bug and maybe have one more successful run but we also could be getting a lot more I'm gonna I'm gonna go casino town let's see let's see cuz then how much is the next area 250,000 we can do that easily look at her she is she's like a little duck built platypus all right so casino town bit of a shadier area but this is where this is where I assume the money to be and oh boy this is already looking really bad for us yeah Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Christ. Alright, so, um... Those were Zeppelins that run off of sound. And, uh... Yeah. That they are also explosive. Whew. I don't know why you're ticking. Are you gonna blow up? Or are you just invincible? Yeah, go in that hole. If you're, if, if you're just gonna be invincible, you can just stay in the hole for all I care, you jerk. Uh, I'm really interested though in Finding, finding a com computer. What the hell is it? All right, so we got a little electric bot with a radius that I'm not entirely sure about. That's good. Ah, there's the security. Here. Yeesh, all right. All right, so we have flying turrets with, uh, it looked like about five turrets on it. Yeesh, uh, shoot that thing. Come on, you can do it. You have, you have like 60 billion turrets. Alright, that's a, a surefire way to kill, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I haven't got to this area yet, so uh, a lot of this is very surprising to me. There's a jetpack man. Uh, that's concerning. There's jetpack men, invincible enemies. There's a lot of enemies. Some of them are just straight up invincible, apparently. And there is a computer. And I want that computer. Because I know it has more money than needs. I don't 
think that's near anything important. Alright, you are still not dead. Jesus. Why won't you die? Oh, man, that is good. Ah. And how much is the bug going to give us? 67. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Wow, even the crates are a thousand. That's... That is financial insanity to me. You know, I'm still surprised they have these incredibly slow, long-range bots, but... Hmm. That... That thing in the pit there, I think, is something that would normally be dangerous, but I think since we deactivated the security, it's not going to be an issue. That might be an issue. All robots. Let's see. I think we can get around the outside. Make our getting to the money inside a little bit simpler. Oh, what, what do you do? Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Alright, apparently whatever that thing is, it explodes quite heavily. <laughs> like, man. I left a crater. Alright, and you're just a normal security guard. Maybe he takes more hits. Maybe. Yeah, I guess those things are just huge ass bombs, so. Might, uh, I might go with leaving those things the hell alone. Might, uh, seems, it seems like a prudent thing to do. So I'm, I'm really confused by those little wall hanging robots. I guess, I guess they could be dangerous. But all they seem to do is go up and down walls. And... Wow, this place is deep. Deep, deep, deep. I think I'm good. I think I'm good with that. There could be money. There could be a stack or two down there. But, you know, I think, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna call this successful. I think 44,000 is, is pretty good. And we might get uh, other bonuses. I noticed we're starting to get that adept bonus. I still don't know what that does. So, maybe someone in the thread can can fill me in on that, but let's see how we did. 74%? Not, not bad. I think that was enough to get a successful heist. And more importantly, we did get 64,000. Sorry, I'm a bit choked up from Mr. Beresford's death. But yeah, that, that was a learning experience to say the least. It was, it was successful. And we still, we have a whopping 100,000. So there is quite a few things we can get. We can get another bug. Just to keep that money coming in. Uh, I don't think we'll need bot confuse. Just because I think hacking the drones is good enough. I worry about getting the bomb strength just because the wider blast radius could make us accidentally blow up a computer that we don't want to blow up. We could we could easily max out our hack aptitude and I think max out our hack speed with the money we currently have. Which would be that'd probably be pretty nice. Also, you know, with those sound zeppelins of death, 
stealth might not be too bad. So, if you guys have any feelings, any thoughts, I am all ears. I'm willing to check it out and experiment. But don't shed a tear for Mr. Barris Ford, because we are still making our way easily enough along. So, see you next time.